Ladies and gentlemen, the Senate will come to order and the Secretary will call the roll. Birdwell, Campbell, Corona, Davis, Duell, Duncan, Ellis, Eltai, Estes, Frazier, Garcia, Hancock, Hager, Hinojosa, Huffman, Lucio, Nelson, Nichols, Patrick, Paxton, Rodriguez, Schwartner, Sulliger, Taylor, Uresti, Vandepute, Watson, West, Whitmire, Williams, Zaffarini. Thank you, Madam Secretary. Members, a quorum is present, and I'm going to ask if everyone please would on the floor please rise and in. Remember, at the end of the day, there's more that unites us than divides us, please. Uh, and, and in the gallery, please stand for the invocation this evening to be delivered by our own Patsy Spa, the Secretary of the Senate. Let us pray. O oh, Holy Father, as we begin a new legislative day, but continue the day's discussion of great importance to this body of wonderful senators, I ask that your blessings be poured out on each of them, and I lift them up to you as dedicated public servants, worthy of your love and protection. Give them patience and respect for each other, and most of all, Father, give them wisdom and awareness of your presence. I thank you for each of them and for their willingness to serve this great state they love so deeply, despite the personal sacrifices they must make to serve. For each of them, I ask that they be granted peace in the knowledge that they have represented their constituents with dignity and honor. Bless the Texas Senate. Heal the wounds of passionate debate and bind their hearts together into one heart of the Senate. Amen. And thank you very much. Please be seated, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. The chair will hear excuses for absent members. Senator Whitmire moves to excuse Senators Williams on matters of, of important business. Is there objection from any member? Chair is no objection. So ordered. <laughs> Senator Whitmire moves to dispense with the reading of yesterday's journal. Is there any objection? Chair hears no objection. It's so ordered. <laughs> members, if there's no objections, I'd like to postpone the reading and referral of of bills until the end of, of today's session. Is there objection from any member? Chair has no objection, so ordered. The chair announces the signing of the, of the following in the presence of the Senate, and that's Senator Huffman's bill. Is she still here? Senate Bill 2. Congratulations, Senator Huffman. Members, that concludes the morning call. The chair lays out on third reading and final passage, House Bill 2 by Senator Hager. The secretary will, will read the caption. House Bill 2 relating to the regulation of abortion procedures, providers, and facilities. I'm gonna recognize Senator Hager but I'm gonna take just a, a minute to say two or three sentences. Members, I wanna thank each and every one of you, whether you're on one side or, or the other. This is an important subject. We've gone through many hours of, of testimony, debate. I wanna thank the staff, I want to thank the members of the press, yes, even the press, for being here. I want to thank all the orange shirts and blue shirts. And I pray that as we leave this evening, that whether you're a Christian, or whether you're a person of faith, that we not forget to love each other uh, as we as Christ loved the church, as, as we lo love all of those unborn babies. I pray as Americans, we not forget that our forefathers fought and died for our First Amendment rights and the freedom of speech. And so we respect that. And this evening, again, I heard over and over again all, many people saying, and I certainly feel this way, we try and work together. How can we come together? and reduced abortions. 
And last but hardly least, I want to thank the Department of Public Service, the DPS. Most of these men and women that you see around here are from different parts of the state. They're away from their families. They're making a sacrifice so that democracy will work and mob rule won't run rule the state of Texas. The chair recognizes. Before we, uh, before I move, I was going to say, I would ask my colleagues to join me in giving these officers a round of applause <laughs> for their day. Senator Whitmire, God bless you. What a great, what a great thing to say. And I got to tell you, I got goosebumps looking up at the gallery. I got their orange shirts, blue shirts, all standing up and applauding. That, God, makes me proud to be in a, a Texan. It really does. Chair recognizes Senator Hager for a motion. Thank you, Mr. President. But two things. Number one, I guess if I get to become dean, then I can create an outburst in the gallery and not have the gallery cleared. Um, that's one thing I just learned. But then uh, also on a more serious note, I, before I would ask for that motion, I just want to say thank you for our Secretary of the Senate for such a wonderful prayer tonight. Certainly. I think that um, in the years that I have been here in the Senate, I've heard many prayers as we started. And I think that one was as meaningful and heartfelt and something that every one of the members of this floor needed to hear. And I want to say thank you for those kind words. Senator Hager, it was heartfelt because I forgot to ask her several hours ago, and she literally spoke from the heart, and that's why we all love Patsy's ball. So thank, thank, thank you, Patsy. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, members. And I ask for final passage of House Bill 2. Members, the question before us is the final passage of House Bill 2. The, the Secretary will call the roll. Birdwell, Campbell, Corona, Davis, Duell, Duncan, Ellis, Eltai, Estes, Frazier, Garcia, Hancock, Hager, Inahosa, Huffman, Lucio, Nelson, Nichols, Patrick, Paxton, Rodriguez. Schwartner, Seliger, Taylor, Uresti, Vandepute, Watson, West, Whitmire, Williams, and Zaffarini. There being 19 ayes and 11 nays, House Bill 2 is finally passed. Congratulations, Senator. We have, we have something, as we adjourn, uh, as we adjourn, um, we're going to want to recognize the loss of someone in Senator Birdwell's district. So I'm going to go to the dean. The chair recognizes the, the dean of the Senate for a highly privileged motion. Mr. President, I would yield to Senator Birdwell at this time and ask everyone to give him their attention, please. Chair recognizes Senator Birdwell. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, thank you, Dean Whitmire. Members, we've had a rigorous discussion today on the first enumerated right to life granted by God. And this evening I rise to honor the lives of two sons of Texas given in the line of duty. I wish to honor the life of United States Army Sergeant William R. Moody, who was killed June 18th this year by hostile enemy action at the age of 30 
while serving his country in Afghanistan. Sergeant Moody was a native of Johnson County, Burleson, member of the 68th Combat Sustainment Support Battalion, 43rd Sustainment Brigade, 4th Infantry Division, based in Fort Carson, Colorado. And he was serving his third tour of duty in Afghanistan, where he gave his last full measure of devotion and service to his country. I also rise to recognize the life of Deputy Sergeant Lance McLean of the Hood County Sheriff's Office, who died in the line of duty by hostile action on June 29, 2013, at the age of 38. Sergeant McLean leaves behind his wife, Katie, his son, Quentin, his daughter, Abigail. Members, thank you for affording me this opportunity to honor two of our finest Texans, and I ask that we adjourn today, that we do so in the honored memory of U.S. Army Sergeant William Moody and Hood County Sheriff's Deputy Sergeant Lance McLean. And Mr. President, I also move to reduce to writing my comments for inclusion in the journal. Thank you again, Mr. President, members. Thank you, Senator. The chair recognizes Senator Whitmire. Mr. President, I move that the Senate stand in recess until 11 a.m. Wednesday, July 17th, pending the receipt of messages, the reading and referral of bills, the receipt of committee reports, and the signing of the bills. I also move that when the Senate finally adjourn, it do so in memory of Sergeant Lance McLean, Sergeant William R. Moody, which are constituents of Senator Birdwell. Thank you, Senator Whitmire. Members, you've heard the motion by Senator Whitmire. Is there objection from any member? Chair, here's no objection. And the Senate will stand in recess until 11 a.m. Wednesday, July 17th, pending the receipt of messages, the reading and referral of bills, the receipt of committee reports, and the signing of bills.